In order to access the limit switches on a conventional actuator, we need to remove the cover. You may have a solid cover or a cover with a sight glass and a dial indicator beneath. They both remove exactly the same way by loosening the four captured fasteners. And again, fasteners are captured. And if you do have a dial indicator, you just want to put your fingers behind the indicator and just pull it straight off. This will give us access to our torque switch adjustment screws. Torque switches on a conventional actuator are adjusted by loosening the two screws on the outer portion of the torque switching head. Loosen the screws. And using this as a pointer, I'm just going to dial in whatever torque is required for our valve. And then I'm just going to tighten down on my pinch screws. Torque switches can be adjusted independently for open and close at any time. So to put our actuator back together with the cover on it, I'm going to take my dial indicator and push my dial indicator all the way on so as far as I can push it in. And then my dial is adjustable. I can change the angle that the dial is set at. So I'm going to put my open at my arrow on the bottom of my cover. My valve is in the open position right now. I'm going to run my actuator closed. And now I'm just going to hold the front dial and I'm going to move the back dial. So my closed indication points towards the arrow on the bottom of the cover. I'm going to reinstall my cover. I'm going to make sure that the O-ring is in place and in good condition. And I'm going to tighten up my fasteners crosswise. and your settings are complete.